Hello everybody, welcome back to the Darkness Alliance with me, Liam and Alan. Yo. And today we are back with another review. Yes, now we as are. you can see we have a bit of everything. We have Caribbean was it Caribbean yeah. drinks? Yeah. Caribbean drinks. We have some different uh Dory or Chris from uh does it say where they're from precisely? They're from somewhere anyway while he gets around to try and find that. And uh there's that much writing on the bag, it's like nah. We'll find out and then we'll most probably put a picture there or something, uh wherever they're from. And uh, as you can see as well, we've also got Nice luxury uh, new monsters we haven't even tried before. Don't they look quite nice, them? Yes, they do. So, uh, as you most probably already know, we have done the previous ones of these uh, before with our friends. Uh, we did the, what was it, blue ones before? Yeah. So these ones are now, uh, what the hell? Let's just do this, I was in there. Are you good? Are you high? But anyway, I mean, it's, uh, um, yeah, so we'll get round to doing these as well. Um, and we'll see what the taste like. So, uh, they should be very interesting, guys. So, we'll be back in a minute with that. Then, all right, so we're going to start off with the uh, drinks first. Can you pronounce the company of them ones? These are that company there. I don't know. I'll put a little label there at Nero. Nero, and then we've got this one separate one of them. So, there's three company. from Nero and one from Regal, and the Regal one is uh. I got no clue what fruit that is. Basil seed. Basil it, seed. It's like, do you know when you get, do you know when you get seeds off the strawberries? Why are we whispering about it? Uh, do you know when you get seeds off the strawberries? Because look, or whatever that is, it's like a strawberry or raspberry sort of type we'll, thing. We'll start on this one first then if you want. I mean, um, yeah, I, I, I can't say I've had that before, as far as I know of. What about you? Would you say you have? Uh, no, uh, this is my first time trying it myself as well, so. Yeah, so we'll get around to trying that first. We've got, um, Awesome Lego movie cups here. We're gonna use these. So as you will see, oh, that is it's, it's no nothing else. <laughs> no, Brilliant. satisfying for a change. You'll see that we're not pouring anything else, and it is actually this. That really, guys. Is that the smell of that? I smell that all the way from here. That, I, I don't know what to say at the moment. I really don't know what to say at the moment. I know it's uh, got the little seeds in it. Yeah. Right. Well, bottoms up. Let's go. Mmm. Well, it's not too bad, that is it? Mm. God, that tastes like something now. I can't put my finger on it. It tastes like elderflower. Elderflower? Yeah, you take a second sip of that, then swill it. It tastes like elderflower. Or like a bit like elderflower. Mmm. And it's not a fruit like what you really have all the time, though, is it? Like you would have tried it at some point, uh, you would have had something close to like it. Oh. So for that, I give that a solid 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from me as well. Yeah. Next one we're going to have is a rose flavoured milkshake with basil seeds. But these are milkshake, these ones. Yeah, these are milkshakes. Oh, uh, right, so the milkshake would have been one. I'd start off with first and a few milkshakes. I think I know I've got seizures. I was watching too many bartenders like. Uh, right, tipsy bartender. Tipsy bartender, yeah. Check out his channel, guys. He's on other social medias as well. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. YouTube. Yes, he is. I think that was the one I was, I was most probably putting down there anyways, the one of the YouTube one. So There's that bit left, so should we just... Yeah. Okay, so we went from a bit somewhat of a bit normal... Um, Sweetie jelly sort of drink thing. So now a milkshake. Uh, this might upset our stomachs a bit, but we're going to do it nevertheless. Here we go. Well, it's different. Very different. I'm not a massive fan, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm not a massive fan. What no. do you think? Tastes, to me, it tastes like, you know, Rose Turkey Delights. It yeah, I like am that. a massive fan of Turkish Delights, but Rose in a sort of drink form. I will still drink it, but I'm not really a fan. So what do you rate that in, in, in your opinion of how you, how you think? Five. Uh, 
it's a, it's a free alternative. Sorry, I'm not really liking it, but I'm not going to judge. Nevertheless, I mean, I am in my taste where, because that's my opinion. So this one, guys. But, uh, uh, be a nice finish it. This is a Nero Sherbet one now. I hope it is as well, mate. I like turkey delight. Roast turkey delight as chocolate way uh, uh, themselves as normal turkey delights. That, uh, it's like, it's what the fuck. So what's this one, Sherbet? Yeah. You it's see, Nero Sherbet. When I think of Sherbet, I think of like lemon Sherbets and stuff. But I know it's not going to be lemon. Bottoms up. Mine's just dying down even my cap. It's like, I, I must just not be a big fan of milkshakes, to be honest. I mean, some people are, and some people are. And chocolate banana, chocolate milkshake and stuff. Fair do. Banana, fair do. Strawberry, fair do. Vanilla, actually freaking not, because I can't stand vanilla. Absolutely fucking not. Um, can I have the sherbet thing back? I'm not a fan. I'm going to say two out of ten. What was yours on the sherbet? And put it down the sink, mate, or something. Okay, then. Can you, actually, no, I'll just put it back in the bottle, because we're not going to need the bottles anywhere. And it serves, it serves as getting up then. That's me being lazy, like, but you know, uh, there we go. So, you know, it's like, here's the proof to show I don't like it. Anybody want it? Go buy them from your test. Goes down in the... St. Stephen's. No, uh, the... I'm trying to... Uh, down... It, it was it's, the car beat. Was he the car beat once? It, um, well. It's basically down two aisles where they've got like all. These were the Caribbean drink ones, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So Caribbean, all down in Tesco. Mango. Caribbean products and stuff. That one smells tempting. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. You know, we sh the uh, the other brand what did them Jello drinks? There was a mango one in that one, but we put sad to put it back because we, thought, we didn't want two mango drinks by two different companies. But if I knew these were milkshakes at the time, I would have been like, "Oh, you might as well have grabbed the mango then because it was jelly." But I didn't know, did I? I thought these was like some sort of Jello no, drinks. No, that one's not a milkshake. I don't think, but that one was the only one, I believe. No, I think they're all milkshakes. To be honest. You don't see a milkshake on that one. Well, let's try the mango and see what, what's what, because if it is, you'd know, because you'd get a texture of milkshake, yeah. But then again, we have just been mixing, so. That tastes a bit better. Six out of ten. I can give it credit, because it's mango. Eight out of ten. But I still don't want no more. I'm just not a massive lover of milkshakes or anything, like, Creamy smooth drink fins. Yogurt? Okay. I don't want so, it. You can have it if you want it. So do you want that one then? If it's up to you, I mean if you want to keep it, you can no, keep it. I don't know, and you can have that one. So yeah, that's the being them weird milkshake fins. I mean if you like your milkshake, so it's Allenders. Right guys. I'm just not a big massive fan. So there them if you want to try them in the carbine sections in your local Tesco's and stuff, Superstar ones, sorry not your local ones, your Superstar ones, you can find them in the Caribbean section if you have uh, global world food stuff what you can get in your Tesco's, because I'm, I'm sure all supermarket ones have the um, round the world food and drinks, yeah. don't they? Yeah. So yeah, go to the Caribbean ones and if you like them then yeah, I'll give them a try. Well, give them a try ladies and gentlemen. Hey, right. so yeah. We'll be back though again in a minute though because we're going to be doing the Doritos <clears throat> as well though. So just give us two secs and we'll be straight back guys. And we are back guys. And we are now going to be doing the Doritos Popcorn. These are hot pepper flavoured corn chips. We're not... Or, or as we call them, crisps. <laughs> okay. Um, but um, yeah, we're not sure if they're... Chewy, like chewy, waves not, are we? I don't We're think they will be. I mean, we wouldn't give them another name, surely, if, if they're the same thing. They're small different to uh, chewy, eat with. So, if you like, you could class this as a part of a hot food challenge if you want, but 
These Here look go. different to chili heat waves. I mean, if, if these are that hot though, guys. Wait, why am I saying guys do? If they're that hot, then we will most probably come back as a hot food challenge and do them again. Yep. But we'll try changing it up a bit for you. So yeah. Here we go. What you Jesus Christ, you crazy mother. <laughs> not real. You not real. You not real. Okay, I'll do three at least. That's all. See this crazy guy. Look, I'm doing three. And he's like, oh uh, yeah, look, have a look before we're on them. He's just doing like a map. No, Ching. Right. <laughs> I don't get why to put up. Sounds like a moussaka, doesn't it? Moussaka curry. Is it pronounced like that? Masala. Masala curry, sorry. Hot level. I'll be honest with you guys. A Two. one. A one. So you still around the same level, we agree. They're not really hot. Just way, definite ten. But the hotness way, one. They're bad. But nevertheless, sir, I'm not saying that it's not a bad business, sir. Except when you might just want to call it mild corn, mild hot corn. Because they're not hot as like extreme. So yeah. That's it. Definitely want to try them again, wouldn't you? Yeah, because Doritos are uh, actually the registered trademark of PepsiCo. Is it? Right at the bottom of the bag in black writing. Oh, yeah. I never knew that. So PepsiCo are the registered trademark of Doritos. So, yeah. Hotness way, though, guys. One. One from Alan and two for me. And that's one out of ten. And two out of ten, just in case you're too wondering. But test where, yeah, we both agree on the same one, don't we? Ten out yep. of ten for them, definitely. Yep, we do. So if you want to give them a try, look at some of your local foreign shops, and I'm sure you'll come across them. Um, I don't well, know the one we got them from. Is from the international supermarket on Springbank. We a picture there, and they'll be dressed and not addressed. No, not addressed. Not even on Google. Google. Um, because that shop's not even on Google Maps yet. Yeah, so there's an image there. So check it out, guys, because that would be most probably. Really amazing still. Okay, so now we've got them other ones out the way with. Uh, we're on to the final bit of the video, and it is now the monsters. Yep. Look now we've got the red one this time. What flavour is it? This flavour is watermelon. See. And it's a monster super fuel. So this is best. So this is metabolic energy. A caffeine's of natural origin. I've got the dint can. It's got your vitamins B, B3 and B6. Enhanced hydration, which is good for the gym. I've got the dint can. Magnesium, which also shows the weight. I know you've got a dinted can. Magnesium, which shows the weight. And I needed this for my monster collection as well. It's got BC... Okay, thank you. It's, it's got BCAs. So... If you ever want a super fuel energy drink for the gym, this will be your guy. It's a 568 mil can, which is bigger than the original cans. And if you did see one of our previous videos where we did do the blue one of this before, if you remember, it wasn't fizzy where they are. I think they were still, they? Still, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Let's see if these are the same. I have no nails. Right, we do all. Bottoms up. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's nice. That may be still, guys, but oh my god. They're literally like the ones what Monster did as them bottle ones. You know, them sports ones, what Monster did. Yeah. Them bottle ones for football and rugby, I think, or something. Was. And do you know what these also remind me of as well? Mm -hmm. Do you know the ones that are in medicine bottles? Them M3 monsters. I don't know, I ain't tried them. Why do you think they almost would be like that as well? You heard about the ones what I was on about getting off the line, aren't you? Them little medicine bottle ones. Yeah, we ain't got around right to them yet. That. That's, that's what they'll look like. But uh, we ain't got around to getting them yet. But we most probably will do. And, and then uh, we also want to get round, you know, to the the, uh, the alcoholic American monsters. Mm. I don't know if that's ever going to be a thing at some point in the future. And the cold. In the UK, but there we go. And the cold. Beast. Beast. Yeah, monster beast. So, yeah. But with these ones, though, um, 
So we've tried two of these now. Same as last time, I think I'll rate it would have been for these for them as well. Last time it was being about 10. Yeah. So yeah, 10 again for yeah, this. Yeah, 10 again from both of us. And uh, so if you like watermelon flavour, that's the flavour of what it is. We need to do some digging, see if there's any more flavours uh, we can order off There will be, there'll be a lot more. I mean, there's even them coffee ones, but I'm not, I'm not a fan of the, um, have you tried them, the cappuccino ones? But yeah. Yeah, I have. But nevertheless though, guys, this has been another Darkness Lounge video it's with like, some it's awesome like, it's drinks. Like, you know, monster, yep. sponsor. But these are, but these cans are like. Come on, okay. um, Jesus Christ, man! Have you been drinking? Yes, monster. Get it while you can, because it tends to as crazy as this guy. There you go. Okay. Right. <laughs> no, because it was my fault anyway, so I thought I'd clean up. Ah, don't worry about it. But nevertheless, though, guys, we, we've given 10 out of 10 of these, and you've seen all other parts of the um, things of obviously what we did as well within this video. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, let us know what you think. And if you want to go give them a try, you can get them yourself, exactly like we said, from Tesco's, the drinks were from there, the Dory other things, certain foreign shops, there might have been more shops in the future, you never know. And these ones as well was from the um, same shop as well, wasn't it? Um, was it Springbank? Place? It's the international supermarket on Springbank. So go check them out. Give them some love, guys. But anyway, nevertheless, though, this has been the Darkness Alliance with another review. And we all thank you for the support on the channel as well. For their massive support. Yeah, so thank you for that. And keep showing the love by sharing these across and doing whatever else you do good. We've been going for three years, guys, and we never thought that we would have been here now to this day still doing videos yeah it's never that easy you know i mean yeah okay we do run out of some ideas sometimes and we just do small things like this but nevertheless though it's still content for you guys to watch and if you enjoy we have done two, 208 videos on the channel in three years and more yet to come so anyway this has been the darkness lines the world may feel like it's ending but the darkness alliance is ascending bye guys bye